Hello, Wayne Hackman here. Okay, let's get down to it. So I've downloaded the image file from Ast uh, for Asterix for Raspberry Pi. You can get that from Raspberry uh, from www.raspberry-asterix.org, and I've put the image onto a 64 gig card. This time I've plugged the HDMI in, um, I've plugged um, a keyboard mouse into, but I've also additionally plugged the network cable in because this is obviously something that requires an internet connection. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen now. I put the image on there. I'm just intrigued to see, so I'm going to plug it in for the first time. Um, bear, me as I, bear with me as I do it with one hand. Uh, the Pi is in, and again, instantly we get some code, which is a good sign. Um, it was very easy to install. Um, have a look at my previous videos. We'll give you some hints and tips on how to do that. Um, so it's 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 it doing all the bits and pieces, configuring network place um, uh, network interfacing, which is good. Hopefully, it's given us an IP address, which it has. Um, so theoretically, I can now start to configure. Um, I think, if I'm correct, it, uh, SSH should already be enabled on this. So I can go to another machine on a terminal and log in. Yeah, the, you've got the SQRs and SSH um, logging in. So I can log in now through another machine. I don't even have to have this connected up to uh, a monitor or keyboard. Now I know the IP address. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you what the first boot looks like. Um, on, and um, I will endeavour to make further videos talking us through how I'm creating my Raspberry Pi free PBX or Asterix server. Thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, subscribe, do all the things that YouTubers do and have one on me. Oh look, it's starting Asterix. That's very exciting. Very, very exciting. Bye. Oh, we've got, there we are, to the login. I really am saying goodbye now. Bye.